springtime day we had today in January. Oh my gosh, what a day it was. Yeah, another day just like it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then after that, not so much. Oh, let's not talk about that. No, it's just some changes coming though. Wouldn't that be cool? I could just give you a three day forecast. Here you go. Nothing happening after day number three. Ignore this snow on the valley floor. What? What's happening? We're going to show you here in just a second. Portland right now, 44 degrees, dew point 29. Uh, wind is out of the southeast still, about 14 miles per hour, not nearly as strong as it was earlier today. So winds are gradually winding down. That includes for Troutdale and Washougal, but still getting gusts there between about 28 to 25. Mount Hood Meadows, 33 degrees. And we take a look at today's highs. Yeah, very unJanuary like. Mid 50s up and down the map here in the valley. 56 was your high in Salem. We got up to 52. Portland Hood River had a high of 39. And along the coast, we got close to 60. Tillamook and Newport and Astoria too. Air stagnation advisory continues for portions of central Oregon, but it will end by tomorrow about midday and then we'll start to see some air mixing out a little bit better. Want to take you over to the Midwest where yes, they have wind chill factors giving us a temperature of 52 below and that's in Minneapolis. We go to I think probably the coldest place in the state right now, Bemidji, uh, 59 degrees below with that wind chill. So cold temperatures there. Keep those numbers in mind. Now we go back to our neighborhood and we're talking about a 66 degree difference from Minneapolis to our neighborhood. Look at this Arctic air just billowing here in the upper Midwest and over the Great Lakes. Now watch this pattern as we get through the next few days. Noticing Saturday, Sunday. Now Sunday, see? A little bit further to the north, noticing this dark blue color. Okay, so now watch this carefully. We get to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. See how that dips down. Oh, all that cold air from Canada dips down into our neighborhood through Tuesday, giving us the chance to see some really cold temperatures and at the same time, see some precipitation move into the neighborhood. So what does that mean? That gives us now our potential to see some valley snow. But before we get there, some rain for us on Friday, Friday early in the morning, rain on and off for, for us on Saturday. Saturday temperatures are not going to bring any valley snow. We're going to keep that snow, eastern Oregon and the mountains. But by Sunday evening, now that really cold air is in place and we could be seeing some of that snow get closer to not just the foothills, but skirting along that thousand foot mark, possibly down to 500 feet. So by the time we get to Monday morning, we could see a trace or more of snow on the valley floor. That's Monday morning. But again, this is just one model and we're still six days away. So this could change quite a bit. If we don't get that Arctic air to move in from the north, then none of this is happening and we're just going to see rain. Here we go through Tuesday. We could see that really cold air sticking through Tuesday of next week. Um, how about snowfall totals, though, for the Cascades? Uh, just focusing on that first, it could be anywhere from a foot to almost a foot and a half, maybe even two feet down towards Mount Bachelor. So if nothing else, even if we don't get the valley snow, it looks as though the potential for some significant snow for the Cascades, and we like to see that. We want to see our snowpack increase. Here's your seven day forecast. Tomorrow's high, about 53 for us. Another mostly sunny day. And then uh, cloudier skies, areas of fog Wednesday evening. Hey, and what's that Sunday forecast? It says TV weather. Yeah. I wonder what that means. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl 53, right here on Coin 6 and CBS, <laughs> and it's going to be raining outside. Nothing worse than up here watching a Super Bowl when it's sunny outside because you think, I'd love to get <laughs> yeah. out in that sunshine. Yeah. Not this time. Not, Not this, this time. time. <laughs> Great TV watching weather. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Natasha. We'll be right back.